All right, so Dan Mullen is still apparently very, very salty about losing multiple times to the Georgia Bulldogs back when he was the coach as the Florida Gators. He's now at ESPN. He's a college football analyst. And he had a ridiculous, I mean ridiculous take about the Georgia Bulldogs coming off their bye week. He has his top 10, right? Every week he comes out with his own personal Dan Mullen top 10. And he's got the Georgia Bulldogs, back-to-back -back national champion Georgia Bulldogs at number six in the country. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now, I know where he's coming from, right? He's going by the eye test, what teams have the best wins, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and I'm going to break down why he's wrong in just a second. But first, let's go over his top 10 real quick, okay? He's got Ohio State, who's coming off a big win against a fraudulent Penn State team. Congratulations. Florida State, who does look very good. Michigan at number three, Washington at number four, Oklahoma at number five, and then the Georgia Bulldogs. The same Georgia Bulldogs that have won 24 straight games, 34 straight regular season games. This team doesn't lose, and I know none of that matters. Georgia wasn't as good as they were in 2021 or 2022. This is a different team, right? So it's a lot of people say what, what happened last year doesn't matter. I don't care that they're the two-time defending national champions they're not as good as Michigan, Ohio State, apparently Washington and Oklahoma, if you're Dan Mullen. But still, that's that's not how this goes, especially in the AP poll. You're number one until you lose. If you haven't lost in almost two calendar years, you stay number one. That's, that's how this works. Now, has Georgia looked like the best team in college football all season long? No, they haven't. They had to fight back, come from behind, uh, win over a bad South Carolina team, had to do the same against Auburn, come from behind and, and win that one. But wins are wins, right? And Kirby Smart, he's said it multiple times, I'm, I'm not apologizing for winning. It hasn't always looked dominant, and it's looked ugly here and there. But Georgia's still, without a doubt, one of the most complete teams in college football. Top 10 offense, top 10 defense. Uh, the special teams is getting better and better every week. But to put them at number six is ridiculous. And uh, we can go over, I think, why he put these teams where they did. But at the end of the day, there's got to be a little anti-Georgia bias here from the former Florida coach who lost to Georgia in 18, 19, 21, right? He, he went one and three, one and three against the dogs. Um, someone else, I have to um, try to look that up. I want to find that out in the comment section. But listen, Ohio State number one, not with that quarterback play. Ohio State's not beating Georgia with that quarterback that they've got, that quarterback situation. It, it's not working. You're putting them at number one, uh, I get their defense is phenomenal, and they beat up a Penn State offense that wasn't nearly as good as what we all thought. But Ohio State at number one, okay, dude. Florida State, number two, very good. They've got a lot of big wins, a lot of impressive wins. They look strong. I get that. Michigan hasn't played anybody. We're at the end of October. Michigan hasn't played anybody yet. We don't know how good Michigan is. What we do know is that they are throttling these bad teams that they've played every week. You want to talk about a cupcake schedule? Can't say that about Georgia anymore. You can certainly continue to say it about Michigan. We'll see how good they are. Hopefully soon, we know they're very, very good against bad teams. And they're crushing teams. That's what you need to do if you play bad teams every week and you're the number one, number three team in the country, right? So they're doing what they need to do, and they look strong. We'll see when it matters the most at the end of the season if they can get over that hump or if they're going to be classic Michigan again. We'll see. Washington just escaped Arizona State. And you're going to put Washington above Georgia? Arizona State outplayed Washington late Saturday night. If you didn't watch the game, Arizona State had more total yards, more rushing yards, three less turnovers, and more first downs against an elite Washington team that people were throwing out 2019 LSU in the comparisons. That's silly. That's nonsense. Throw it away. That's that. That's crazy. After that performance against Arizona State at home, I believe, in Seattle, you're going to put them above Georgia? What are we doing? What are we doing? They have the better win. Their win against Oregon, I guess, was better than Georgia's win over Kentucky. Georgia just spanked Kentucky over and over. Punched them in the mouth, punched them in the gut, and, and just spanked them all the way back to Lexington. Beat them by like 38, 40 points a few weeks ago. That was an impressive win, but apparently looks like people have forgotten about it. Oklahoma at number five, great win against Texas. Great win against Texas. They had to escape Central Florida this past weekend. You know, Oklahoma is still, they're heading in the right direction for sure. Um, but you're going to put them at number five over Georgia based solely on them beating Texas? Okay. Okay, Dan Mullen. 
This is very anti-Georgia. This is a ridiculous take. But at the end of the day, Georgia hasn't lost in, again, like 23 months, right? They should be number one until someone knocks them off, right? If you don't think Georgia's number one, Florida needs to beat them. Missouri needs to beat them. Ole Miss needs to beat them. Tennessee needs to beat them. This will all play itself out. These rankings don't matter. And I don't know if Georgia will be number one in the college football playoff rankings. It would not surprise me if they weren't number one. And honestly, I don't expect them to be number one because then we're looking at resumes. Who's got the best wins, right? And uh, Georgia will have another good win if they beat Florida. Florida's right outside the top 25. You know, I thought they had a chance to be in the top 25 when this game is played on Saturday. But if Georgia beats Florida, beats a good Missouri team, beats a good Ole Miss team, and goes up to Neyland and beats Tennessee and wins the SEC title game after throttling Georgia Tech like we all know they're going to do, they're going to be number one. I don't care if Michigan just destroys Penn State and Ohio State. If Georgia runs the table and they are undefeated SEC champions, they're going to be number one in the playoffs. They're going to be playing in the Sugar Bowl, number one, and they deserve to be. I, there's a lot of Georgia hate out there from basically everyone. No one wants to see Georgia win three in a row. Nobody. College football, it, it really is Georgia against the world. Sorry, Ohio, Ohio State. More people would like to see Ohio State from a national perspective. The casual college football fan, I think, would like to see Ohio State win a national championship before seeing Georgia win their third in a row. There's a lot of anti-Georgia out there, and Dan Mullen is very much a part of that. He thinks Georgia is the worst undefeated team left in the Power Five. Are you kidding me? If Oklahoma played Georgia this weekend, Georgia would be favored. If Georgia played Washington this weekend, especially in Athens, Georgia would be favored. Georgia would be favored against Ohio State, Florida State, and Michigan. All these five teams that Dan Mullen has ahead of Georgia, I wonder how many he think would actually beat Georgia if they played this weekend, especially in Athens. Um, it is a different environment, and I've said this multiple times. Sanford Stadium might be the toughest place to play in college football right now. Not all time, right now. Uh, the last time they lost was in 2019 at home. They beat multiple top 10 teams inside Sanford Stadium. They beat number one Tennessee there last weekend. The crowd is impactful, um, as impactful as any crowd in college football. Uh, so don't tell me, Dan Mullen, that you think Ohio State, Florida State, Michigan, Washington, Oklahoma would beat Georgia this weekend. If you think that, you are crazy. You are nuts. But this is a ridiculous take. Um, and it, it, it does go back to the disrespect. Yeah, last season doesn't matter. And two years ago, doesn't matter. But they, they haven't lost in, in, in 24 games. They won 24 in a row. And to not, even if it were Florida, now I cover the dogs. I try to be as objective as I can. But if Florida had won 34 straight regular season wins, which doesn't matter, but it's 24 straight. 24 straight, and they're undefeated again. They deserve to be number one. And that's why Georgia's number one in the AP poll. And, um, and again, these don't matter. Dan Mullen doesn't matter. He matters because he's on ESPN, and he, he's a college football analyst. He talks about this. He's supposed to know what he's talking about. But to put Georgia at number six is uh, it's just ridiculous. And when I saw that, I said, man, this, this guy is just kind of triggering people. That's what this is about. He's trying to trigger Georgia fans like this. And I'm not triggered. I'm just trying to explain what his thinking is here. Because um, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I'm trying to talk through it. Am I crazy or is Dan Mullen crazy? But Georgia, Georgia's undefeated. And they're the national champions. And if they go undefeated, they will be at number one. So why aren't they at number one now? Um, is it because they only have one quality win? I mean, that, that has to be it, right? Their win over Kentucky is the only solid, impressive win they have right now. But I would like to see Dan Mullen's top 10 next week if they throttle Florida. And then if they throttle Missouri and Ole Miss and they beat Tennessee, that's a tough stretch. I mean, th th those aren't gimmies, right? Georgia's going to have to play very, very well if they want to go through this stretch in the second half of the season unscathed, right? If, if they're undefeated, SEC champs, for the second year in a row, um, they need, they're need they going to be number one in the college football playoff. It's going to trigger a lot of Ohio State fans, Florida State fans, Michigan fans, Oklahoma fans, whoever. Georgia deserves to be number one until they are defeated. And that's my opinion. Uh, and I, I don't think they'll be number one in the college football playoff, but Dan Mullen thinks they're number six, and he thinks they're the worst undefeated team left in the Power Five, 
and it's a ridiculous take. It is what it is. Uh, I'm not sure he's being 100% real here. And again, if, if Washington or Michigan, Oklahoma came to Athens, I would like to know if Dan Mullen thinks that Georgia would lose those teams. His rankings say that he does think Georgia would lose, but uh, who's wrong? Am, am I crazy or is Dan Mullen crazy? I think Dan Mullen's crazy. Let me know in the comment section below. Really appreciate all of y'all watching. Again, it's Georgia Florida week. We've got a lot of content coming over on Dog Post. Make sure you sign up to the free newsletter. We have that link is down below. I hope to see you over on the website.